Which can I guys come back to another video and so I'm going to make a cow zoo enclosure. Now this is basically the chicken one, just a cow version. It's pretty similar to the chicken one as far as inside and stuff is concerned. Um Uh what was I gonna say, Frick? It's just a cow. Also you may notice I am a little bit sick, which is unfortunate. Uh it's not bad. I wasn't like dying or anything during the video. Um also, I didn't put the cows in at the end. That's a thing that might happen like 12 times or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's all I have time to say. So with that being said, enjoy the tutorial and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space unit for this is an 18 by 16. It's literally the exact same size as the chicken one. All of them should be around an 18 by 16. I, all of them might be, actually. It just depends how I do the oh, head showing what animal it is. Like, maybe one will be 19 or 17 or whatever. They're all possibilities. But the material, the, ha, materials you're needing to start off are brown terracotta, black stained glass pens, black stained glass uh, blocks, Dark oak door or any door, I just keep it consistent. If you use dark oak door in the last one, use dark oak door again. Unless you wanted to change the both for whatever reason. Uh, white concrete, gray concrete, uh, black concrete, cyan terracotta, and I feel like that's it. Hold on, let me refrain to my handy. Shut up, I didn't ask that my phone was at 10%. Handy dandy images, and then that should be the exterior roll part of it. That was not a word. Um, yeah, I think that's all you need for now. Obviously, you'll need more for the inside, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Starting from the front left in the corner of your 18 by 16 grid golf cars, you made you want to count back by one, and I'm going to just place a placeholder there for a sec so you understand where that is. <coughs> you can see I'm doing it two blocks away from the chicken pen, <coughs> and I am doing it. To where the first brown terracotta we're placing here is, in li is basically the same line at the front. They're all going to be the same line at the front. They're all going to be two blocks apart. Just keep that in mind. At some point, it'll just become a habit, and I'm not going to have to be like, just remember. Um, or maybe it'll it'll already become a habit after two. For me, I already kind of had this planned out, so I, you know, I have more experience with it because I understand it. I'm not I'm the one making it up. Anyways, on this uh, block here, you want to go right with two brown terracotta. So you only have two. You don't want that third one that I was placing as a placeholder. Then you want to place 14 black stained glass panes. And then two brown terracotta. Again, all of this is just going to become memory at some point. Uh, right now it's a little bit like, ah, I think so. But it'll, it'll definitely become memory at some point. Then go back with the dark oak door and then 13 brown terracotta. Then go left with 17. And then connect back forward. Oh my god, my voice is slowly dying. <clears throat> Too much talking. You want to, excluding the door because doors are dumb, you want to copy that row six more times. So I guess that's square. Rectangle. It's not a square. That felt very wrong for a second, and I don't know why it did. No, but it, it okay, it is right. Uh, on top of the dark oak door, I think you have to place five brown terracotta, uh, and then we'll do somewhere else. Mm, do I want to? Yeah, I do want to talk about that right now. I guess something that I didn't do, but something uh, you could do. Hopefully, everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. It's been a little bit of a wild Saturday. Saturdays generally are going to be wild. I feel like for one reason or another. That, that's perfect. Exactly where I wanted it. I don't have a whole ton else to say. There's really nothing to talk about. Nothing interesting is happening. Other than stuff that I probably mentioned in the intro about me being sick. Which is always fun. It's not like, it's literally, it doesn't make sense though, because the day that my voice sounds the most different is the day that I have the least amount of, like, stuff going on. I may have a little cough, but whatever. And stuffy nose. It's been sore. Yesterday was sore throat, uh, stuffy nose and cough, although the sore throat was only in the morning. 
It's just weird. I don't know. So, I'll talk about this now, and uh, you can remember it later. I don't understand how cows work, so let me go actually look at one before I say anything stupid. Um, okay. But if you see these white splotches on the cow, if you want to just, like, add a bunch of those, you can. I was thinking, uh, let me do it on the right wall, I guess. My logic of how one would look would have been, like, this, I think. Something like that. But, I mean, it really doesn't matter. I think it would... Maybe we had, maybe we had, like, a couple different shapes. Like, maybe we had one that's, like... That... Yeah, that might look better. There's really no specific way to do this. It's just however you see fit. Maybe I'll do one like that. That kind of looks like clouds, too. That... Mmm, sort of works. But, uh, yeah, decide if you like that or not. Um... For consistency, I'm not gonna do it, I think. I'm on the fence about it, and if I'm on the fence about it, considering I didn't do it on the original, I'm not gonna do it on the... Uh, tutorial version. But, and then, again, when once we actually get the top on, uh, there will be a little bit more brown terracotta that you can mess with that with. So, going left to right or right to left along the front does not matter along the front row. You wanna place three brown terracotta, Two black stained glass pans. Hold on, let me get out the notes. Brown terracotta. White concrete. Cyan terracotta. Two gray concrete. Cyan terracotta. White concrete. Brown terracotta. Two black stained glass pans and three brown terracotta. Like so. Then along either some. How do we want to do this? Okay. Let's actually just bring this entire thing up. Let's just build this up, this middle section. So, I need my photos now. Hold on, because I don't know what a cow face looks like. Uh, going left or right or right to left on top of this little row of eight does not matter for the first couple of rows you want to play. It's brown terracotta, white concrete, black concrete, two cyan terracotta, black concrete. White concrete, brown terracotta. Next row, same thing, going left to right to right to left, doesn't matter. Two brown terracotta. Four white concrete. Two brown terracotta. Next row is just eight brown terracotta. Next row, this one, this one matters. You want to go left to right and you want to place black concrete. White concrete. Brown terracotta. White concrete. Two brown terracotta, white concrete, black concrete. That is horrifying. Next row. <coughs> Next row again. Uh, except this one, this one is, yeah, going left to right to right to left. This time doesn't matter. Although I guess just keep going left to right. That's easier. Two white concrete, brown terracotta. Two white concrete, brown terracotta. Two white concrete. Next row up again, going left to right. Three brown terracotta. Three white concrete, two brown terracotta. Next to up again, left to right. Three brown terracotta, four white concrete, and a brown terracotta. Off the top right and top left blocks, you want to place a gray concrete, and you want to bring it up by one, and that kind of gives you little horns. And I think it looks good. One more thing. Um... Take the entire 8x8 eight eight square, not including the horns, and you want to bring it forward by one. Um, make sure that it is perfect. It makes it backwards on the back, but that's entirely fine. It really doesn't matter. Logically, you didn't have... You could actually make it the same, because it's not going to matter. That's an interesting thought. I didn't really consider that until now. Hence why I didn't do it, or try it at least. I guess you didn't know if I tried it or not, theoretically. I could be lying about all of this. I could have had this made for three years now. No, I made it today. <laughs> You'll never know, though. Alright, there you go. Now that we have that monstrosity out of the way, um, too late, but if you want to push it down a block, you can as well. I know it does kind of look weird because of how much it sticks up. Right now, obviously it's weird now, too, but it'll kind of mesh down a little bit in a sec here. So, um, from either side, you want to count in by one, and you want to place three brown terracotta, moving in, and then a black stained glass pan.
Then you want to, again, count in by one and place three brown terracotta moving in. And then do it one more time, except you're only going to get two. And then that's going to be the proportion. So figure out now if you want to mess with things, if you don't like it, all that good stuff. Now. First off, you want to start by just placing another row of brown terracotta along the left, right, and back. And then, mm, this is going to be hard to explain. Along the three diagonals on either side, you want to place 13 black stained glass blocks moving backwards. And then a brown terracotta at the end if you so choose. Uh, you're going to have to do it anyways, uh, just whether or not you want to do it now is up to you. Yeah, I guess this is the best way to do this. That isn't what I wanted to break, but okay. Oh, the chickens. Oh no, the noises. It's going to get crazy at some point, isn't it? And then you can connect all the brown terracottas together at the back and also the top row of black stained glass blocks. So it'll give you this on the back. Hold on. <coughs> Plus maybe some white splotches or something. And then you can <coughs> fill in the top end with black stained glass blocks. My goodness. <coughs> We're like halfway done and my voice is just saying I'm done now. Yeah, I think that's the end, end of the video, guys. Um, I didn't put the head at the... Good lord. I didn't put the head at the back because it's so much bigger than the chicken one. The chicken one just kind of slotted in nicely with how everything else looked. You can see it's not that big. But this is freaking huge. It's in total a 10 by 9 if you include the horns. So I was like, yeah, that's going to be just too much to slap on the back wall unless you engraved it into the wall that might look interesting it's up to you though so also another thing if you don't like the order that I'm going to put these in you can just kind of I mean it'll be a long wait but you could wait for me to finish all the tutorials and be like okay pick and choose or just kind of think uh, which ones will go where because they're all going to be the 18 wide even if they end up being 20 or something, it'll just be because something sticks out here and it's still going to have the two block cap most likely. So just kind of think about what animal you might want to wear and even start labeling now. Um, but yeah. For the inside, you want to get out water buckets. Stone, is to start off, by, by the way. Uh, either a hoe or farmland, it really doesn't matter which one. Uh, you're gonna need brown terracotta again because of that. Not glazed. Nobody likes glazed terracotta. The one glorified tutorial I've used it on. Uh, wheat seeds, or yeah, just seeds apparently. Bone meal. Flowering azalea. And I guess we'll stop there for now. Will we? Yeah, we will. Uh, I know we have two spots, but everything else involves the farmhouse, so I'm just not gonna. I'm just gonna wait. Who? What? Where? Okay. Um, starting from the back left-hand corner for the farmland, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count. You don't have to do the exact how I'm doing it. I'm just kind of giving you a rough thing of how you're, what you're gonna do. You want to count right by four. I feel like I just flop my. Oh no, I didn't. And then forward by two, break, uh, place water. Count left two, forward one, another water. Count forward, that looks to be three, or four blocks. One, two, three, four, break and water. Then count right three and back one and place water again. That'll give you this type of a pattern. Uh, break the block below and place stone. I didn't actually do this in my original, don't tell anybody. And then for the pattern, it'll be above this top water, it'll be, ab I guess, up backwards, sorry. Farmland, left two, forward diagonally to the left two, forward one, forward diagonally to the right one, frickin' frick, forward one, forward diagonally to the left one, forward diagonally to the right one, 
Right two. Oh god. Back diagonally to the right one. Right two. Back diagonally to the right one. Back one. Back diagonally to the left one. Back one and then back diagonally to the left one. I thought this was three, but I'm blind. And that'll give you this shape. Um, it almost looks like a deformed heart um, from that angle. Don't ask where that came from because I don't really know. Um, I just make sure that these red concretes that are visible are also uh, now brown terracotta instead. Or it'll be dirt probably for you. I said red concrete because it is red concrete for me, which I guess kind of makes it pop out more so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, everything in the middle of this wants to be hoed down with a hoe. Um, and then wheat seeds on top of the farmland. And then I would bone meal them so they are nice and weedy. That sounds weird. That's a... Okay, fair enough. We're just going to be that way. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh, what? Oh, because it only does it when there's dirt. That's weird. Okay. I accidentally bone mealed water earlier, and it's not doing it now because there's stone under it. Just dumb logic, but okay. There you go. Tree placement? Okay. Nah. Okay, so come to the far, the furthest front right block, which is this one. I know that doesn't make any sense, but it's just here. Um, it's basically the furthest front row, and it's a row of three, and it'll be the right block. You want to go four diagonally to the right by one from that place. A flowering azalea. Left click with a bow. Oh my god. Uh, left click with bow meal so you'll get a tree. I would prefer if the tree was not like that. That was the ugliest tree I've seen in my life. So uh, this might shut up. This might take a couple of tries. There we go. That's better. Okay, it's still weird. But it's kind of covering the weed. You know what? No, I'm going to try it again. You could even make your own tree so you're not doing whatever I'm doing. But I couldn't be bothered to do that, so... Here we are. What is happening? It grew through the wall, didn't it? I bet you it grew through the wall. Okay, we'll give this one more shot. And if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna cry, basically. All right, please. Okay, that's manageable. I was picking this tree because it's the most organic looking one of all of them. So I was like, yeah, that'll be perfect. I still want to check if that actually happened to go through the wall because I'm pretty sure it did. Okay, it didn't. That's cool. Uh, although that one is very blocky. I don't understand why I did that. The other one worked perfectly and that was first try. Hold on, let me show you real quick. It worked somehow perfectly. Look, look at how good that tree looked. Okay, it is a little bit blocky, but that was the first one I did. Anywho. Come back to the uh, back, <coughs> back of the wheat farm now, sorry. And you want to, from this block right here, it's to the right of that back row of three. This grass block, you want to count right by... Hold on. Three. And back by one, and you want to break four blocks moving right, and then the middle two in front of those. I'd break the one below and place stone and then just fill that with water. Make sure that these brown terracottas are, or these red concretes or dirts are brown terracotta. I actually think I forgot to do that in the last one. No, I didn't. Interesting. Uh, just to get it out of the way, you can bone meal all of the ground so you get some nice grass. And if you get double tall grass or whatever, that's fine. Some flowers look nice too. I wouldn't have that much at the front. Like, maybe at the back have some, and also this is all gonna kinda get torn down, but it's fine. Yeah, it looks fine, I guess. If you... wait. Oh, okay, that is how that works. Interesting. Let me take some of these down. That works. Uh, now you can clear inventory and get out to end, I believe. Hey, bales. Composters, anything to put in the composter. If coal would work, I would do that, and I don't know if it works. So I'm just gonna go with fern, which I did last time for some reason. Pillar quartz blocks, mangrove stairs. You could hypothetically use mangrove stairs as mangrove planks, but I'm gonna get out mangrove planks. Dark oak fence, 
smooth quartz stairs, and smooth quartz blocks. I believe that's all you need, actually. And that happens to perfectly fill your inventory, which is always cool. So, coming to the back right, you want to count left by two, and you want to place a pillar quartz block facing up. Bring it forward with an upside down mangrove stair facing left, then a pillar quartz block, then an upside down mangrove stair facing left, and then a pillar quartz block. Bring each pillar quartz block up by two, and then connect the, I guess, no. Bring the mango upside down mangrove stairs up with a dark oak fence, and then a normal mangrove stair facing left. You want to bring the front pillar quartz block up by one and bring everything else on that row up with a smooth quartz block. Place a row of smooth quartz stairs off the left of that and bring it forward by one. Bring that stair right with an upside down stair. Up with a block. Stair facing left. Right with an upside down stair. Up with a stair. Right with a stair and then down with an upside down stair. Except for the upside down stairs, you want to bring all that smooth quartz um, to the back wall. This is a really tough one to do. Oh, did I get a first try again? I did. Haha, <laughs> I'm so good. There you go. Uh, that looks weird with the thing in there. That wasn't descriptive at all. Um, I might have clickbaited you. No, I didn't. That's fine. Um, in line with the this pillar quartz block here, this front one, you want to place two mangrove planks moving right. It's kind of the one that you can only see a fourth of now. There you go. Bring that to the back with mangrove planks, and then you want to bring that front set of two down with upside down mangrove stairs, and then bring those same planks up by two, like so. And then, this is kind of up for your um, decision, but I'd break nearly the entire floor in here. I'd replace it with hay bales. What I actually did was I ended up leaving, I think it was the front right block. Stop timing out, phone. I get you at 10% and on low power mode, but it doesn't mean you have to time out. Yeah. I left the front left block, actually, open. I'd make them all so they're facing up so you don't get that stupid uh, red texture. Yeah, I did like that. And the back right hand corner place a composter with some debris in it to look like food. Okay, I thought it was gonna turn uh, the white for the bone meal. I was like, please don't. Although that might not add a bad touch. Although I don't know if that's gonna automatically go after a while. I've never really played around with that. This looks weird. Hold on, let me try to form this a little bit more myself here. Looks a little bit better, but it's still not like amazing. It's just a bad tree. But um, yeah. Warranted tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That is your cow zoo enclosure complete. Um, I am going through every single animal that there is a spawn egg of, and mm, perhaps the wither. Definitely iron and snow golem. Um, probably not ender dragon. Definitely not ender dragon. I think that's all the mobs. Yeah. I might not do Wither. I'm definitely going to do the Golems in every spawn egg, though. Because none of these are really going to try to commit too much murder. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.